Hi everybody, this is Christina with Nurse to Recovery. Today I want to talk about my experience in massage school and I guess do I recommend it and what did I go through when I was there. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Okay, so again, my name is Christina. Um, I live in Georgia. I'm around the metro Atlanta area. Um, I did go to school here uh, for massage therapy. I'm also an LPN and I've been working in the medical field for the past 14 plus years, 15 years now. And I did transition from 2019. I started school in December 2019. And then I graduated in um, April of 2021, so uh, April of this year. Um, I did do part-time in school, so I only went to school from Tuesday nights, Saturday most of the day, and Sunday most of the day. So three days out of the week, um, I went to school because it was a part-time program because I worked and that was important I had to work but if you um, did the daytime program, it was only eight months. And I know ideally that would have been, you know, ideal for me to want to go and get through it as quick as possible. But I actually enjoyed the nighttime program since it was usually smaller classes. We had, um, you know, more close knit group of people because and then they're like priorities I wouldn't say priorities were different but you tend to like when you have to go to school at nighttime you tend to have like certain responsibilities during the day so then you're not usually coming to play around at nighttime because you probably like work the whole shift and you just want to learn and go home so um that's something that was positive like my class is pretty mature um, we are, a lot of us had children, a lot of us was just working really hard, a lot of us, you know, worked during the day, so it was just important to, for us to get through this, um, you know, as seamless as possible. So, I did go to Atlanta School of Massage. I chose it out of, after touring a couple of schools. Um, one school, I... I'm not going to talk about them since I didn't have like a positive view of the school. I know a lot of people came from the school and enjoyed it. But when I went, I had an appointment to go and meet the people for them to show me around the school. And when I got there, I'm always early. So I got there like maybe like 10 minutes early um, to my appointment. I go to the front desk. There's no one there. <laughs> There's no one in sight when I got there, so I'm just sitting there. And then I can overhear, like, uh, someone in the office area speaking to a student. And she, this, I guess the student didn't like someone in her class. And so she's, like, getting all loud, like, well, if she didn't say something to me, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, drama. And I'm not a drama person. So, like, that was kind of, like, and then I, it was so, the conversation was so loud. I'm like, hmm. They probably should have closed the door. <laughs> While they're having this conversation, I'm just like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't know the drama of the school. And then by the time, like, I sat there for like 15 minutes, and then someone shows up at the front desk, the front desk to the office. No one. Someone shows up, then they show me around the school. It just, Mm, it didn't give me, it gave me that I was going to have problems trying to get through to them for information and stuff. Like it wasn't, it wasn't as smooth as I would like. And I'm like, if I can't even like walk around the school smoothly, I don't want to go there and spend my money to do it. So then when I went to Atlanta School of the Massage, um, you know, like, like when they sh I talked to the person about the school, they showed me around. It just... The vibe was different. It just gave me, like, they were really proud of their school. It was a lot. Of, everybody was energetic. The teachers was really sweet, from what I could tell. What I didn't know, which I wish I knew, I wish I knew that I could have sat in on the class. Now, I don't know 
why I didn't know this. <laughs> but when I actually enrolled in school, there was people that they actually let you sit in the class and see if you like 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 the feel of the class. I didn't know that. I just like the school in general from walking around. Uh, they also have aesthetics students and things there. So that was cool to me. Um, yeah, I just wish I knew I could sit in the class. But I still like the vibe. Um, I... I, um, the money was like a thousand or two thousand more than other school I looked at, but for like how they seemed like it was a little more efficient alone, I was like, I'd rather spend a little more money to seem like they're a little more on top of things than, you know, try to cheat myself out and then have an issue while I'm at the school. So I signed up with them. I really enjoyed it. I love my teachers. They all worked you know, their different businesses and stuff during the day. And then they would come to class at night with us. And they just, like, they had that real world experience because they were still actively working in the real world. So they gave us tips on top of the teachings. Um, yeah, so since I did start school in December 2019, of course, a couple months later, the world shut down. Because you guys know what, I'm not going to say it because I don't know what's going to happen to this video if I do, but the world shut down in 2020, 2020, a couple months after I started, and so I was like, this is a hands-on school. How are we going to do hands-on if we can't be in the same room with multiple people, and you can't touch them? <laughs> so, like, honestly, I feel like my school and my teachers did a good job on keeping us on track, because... Um, we end up graduating a month after we were supposed to graduate March in 2021 and they only pushed us back a month. So we, for us to spend majority of our time on Zoom meetings, I had to like massage my son and have the teachers look through <laughs> like to watch us like learn techniques that way, their lectures. And then it got to a point where they started opening stuff up slowly, um, we had to do like a whole check-in process for us to be able and then we can massage people but everybody had to wear a mask and they'll let little groups in the school at a time because you have to pass certain sections you have to have a hands-on and a written so we'll do the written on um line which was nice because it kind of was in the format of the NCLEX which was the what you had to pass to get your license so it was in the format of the same amount of questions it was similar kind of you never know what question we're going to get in what order so that actually was helpful so I I, I hope they kept that because that actually was helpful but when we did come into class like they wouldn't even let you in the school without temperature you had to fill out a form you had to, like, it was just, they weren't playing. So I, I appreciated that. But it, they did do what they could when they could to keep us on track. And so then we only graduated a month later than we were supposed to. And I appreciate that because my time is important. And I was not trying to be in school for the rest of my life. But um, what I would say is um, communication is key. And when we were in school, there was some, like, minor areas where I feel like they could have gave us more information but I feel like uh, it was something that wasn't planned <laughs> it was something that never happened before so I feel like they did a good job with keeping us on track and trying to get us information as soon as possible now I'm gonna get into massage in general like massage school it's not as easy and simple as people make it seem like, when I talk to people, they're like, oh, you just gonna, you just rub on people. I'm like, no. You're actually helping people. You are actually helping people feel better. You're helping people after accidents. You're helping people after surgery. You're helping people after cancer. Like, you can help people, like, at sports, everything. Like, you are helping people. And sometimes you're working alongside chiropractors, physical therapists. Like, you, you are important. And they are actually letting massage therapists into hospitals now because they're seeing the importance of it more so in in the western or the eastern world, western world, where in the U.S. <laughs> they're they're sh they're actually realizing how beneficial natural healing is as well as 
you know, the medical field. Um, Because there's ways to heal the body without always being invasive. And that's the reason why I went into it. Um, So they're slowly seeing the importance. I didn't know there was research teams of massage therapists that help um, met the medical profession determine how much massage or what type of massage would help certain um, ailments. And one of my teachers was a part of the research te- massage research team, and it's very interesting. And they even brought somebody in to tell us about it. So I learned a lot, like kind of like nursing. Everybody just assumes you're just in the hospital. That's it. But there's so many things you can do it with massage in different ways you don't have to be in a spa you there's you can help people everywhere so it's just like it's very limited views and i just want to tell people like look into it more because there could be stuff that you're interested in and it's not just a spa so now i'm going to talk about stuff i wish i knew (laughs) Stuff I wish I knew going into it. Um, it is you do have to study because there's kinesiology, like how the muscles move, make the body move, things like that. There's some it's a lot of anatomy. So if you never took a anatomy before, definitely go look into that. But they do kind of touch on slightly like the other body systems. And ironically, I did have stuff about the body systems in my NCLEX. So definitely. Anatomy is important. <laughs> um, there's ways to talk to people, um, specifically for massage. So pay attention to that because I know that popped up on my NCLEX test. There's just a lot. So I I would say that my school did re- prepare us for the test. I passed on my first time and out of my six classmates that I graduated with, Everybody passed the first time except for one, and she said she was nervous, but she passed the second time. So we all passed right, pretty much right away. And so, and that's even through the world shutting down, them trying to keep this on track, Zoom. <laughs> we still learn a good amount to only, majority of us only having to take the test once. And plus, we were, like, my class was on top of it. We didn't really play around because we all worked pretty decent jobs and we just we didn't play around like we were serious about school so another thing I did wish I knew when I started school was books that could help now the school gave us like a binder I don't have it with me but it was a binder and it was okay I feel like it could have it could have like more it could have been tailored better in my opinion but I suggest getting this good, the trail guide to the body. This is the sixth edition and it's by, it's by Andrew Beal. Okay, so I suggest getting this book. I'll have a picture so it doesn't seem backwards, but it's a very good book. It's amazing it teaches you not only anatomy but it teaches you what muscles move what part of the body what direction and that's really important for massage because then it just you know what to massage for what ailment and let me see if I can find a good picture of it it's just really really detailed I'm gonna find something. It's really detailed. It's for massage in general. It kind of shows you like this person hand placement for a certain muscle. More hand placements for specific muscles to treat it. What moves what where. So I definitely highly suggest they also have a workbook that goes with this i feel like this is a really good book to help you through school um you would have to buy this separate (laughs) um but i highly suggest this 
because I kind of got this towards the end and I was kind of annoyed because I'm like I wish I knew this sooner because it was like it had everything in there um, especially muscle wise what moves what just very detailed very detailed highly suggest this book for massage if we're going to massage school so yes so I really enjoyed massage school um, it did um, Atlanta School of Massage did prepare me for the outside world like working in certain spas and locations honestly the setup especially when you did clinicals towards the end um, you they kind of work for, you work for the spa outside out of the school to do your hands-on hours towards the end of your schooling and exactly how that setup was is very similar to some of the places I work at now so I will say they do um, prepare you pretty well and the teachers were great the school was great you could talk to people um, you could get to people fairly decently to get information they don't if they don't have the answer, they'll try to ask somebody that has the answer. So I do recommend the school. Um, personally, I liked it. Now, it's always up to you to go there and see how you feel. Fill it out. I'm all big on fill it out. And you can't sit on no classes. I didn't know that. You can sit on the class, girl. Or boy. Somebody. <laughs> Sitting on the class. See how you feel. Do you like the vibes? And check it out. I would recommend it if you're interested in massage. Um, I would say research massage more. I, with any type of career I want to go into, always check the availability. So I would go on Indeed, type in the title of whatever you want to go to school for, and see what jobs pop up and how much they're paying. Do that before you do anything. Okay? Do not... Go to school, waste your money, and then there's no jobs available for that exact position. I don't care if you go in a four-year, two-year, whatever. Look up the job market. Is the job market going up? Ironically, the job market is going up. Even with the little massage games, because there's certain stuff that can't get into. So, it's going up. It's it's big. It's actually increasing, ironically. Um so look into it and i would recommend it if it's for you if you don't mind dealing closely with people if you don't mind um massaging people and helping them in that way um they're very big on ethics so don't go in here thinking that you're going to like use it for sleazy reasons because at school does not play about that they you can go to jail <laughs> Don't let these people on the Instagram fool you with the music and people half naked. I nine times out of ten, I'm not sure if they are fully licensed because some of that is borderline, borderline work, OnlyFans work look looking, and you can't go to jail with that for that if you have license. The happy ending people that make jokes about that, that's illegal. <laughs> If you're licensed and you're caught, you can go to jail. So don't don't go into it for those reasons. If you have negative reasons, bad energy towards it, do not do it. You can go to jail. But otherwise, if you're pure heart and you have good reasons for it and you want to help people honestly and truly for ailments and things that's bothering them, I would suggest it. I'm enjoying it. I'm a couple months in and I'm doing well. And I'll do updates in a couple months on how I'm doing once I'm a year out from fully going into it. But I just wanted to share with you guys what I wish I knew in my experience going to massage school. And if you have any questions, just let me know below. And thank you for watching. Bye.